Greetings, guests of the YouTube Cool channel. I'm not doing the voice. Hey guys, what's up? I, I just bought Randy at Walmart. Because, like, what's weird is that he wasn't in the Target version of Case M. Because, like, they do, like, two cases now. Cases with 24 cars and 20, you know, 12 cars. But then, uh, you know, they, uh, for some reason, Randy isn't in the full version, but he's in the half version. Which is a good thing. Because, I, from what I've heard, this guy sucks. Bad. He's like... He's got some details wrong. Like, okay, he's pretty dark colored now. So is... Dragon McQueen. And then when I turn on the light... Eh, he still looks kind of dark in the package, so I guess we'll see. This is the rarer card variant, so I'm probably going to make a lot of people mad, but don't worry, I'm not going to show it. I'm going to be super careful. But first, a look at the back. I have one, two, two out of four. Awesome. Engineering the next ch generation through play. Oh, that's so sweet, if only. If only the next generation was actually playing and not stuck on iPads or something. I need to stop with the social commentary. I need to stop stalling. I have to get to the actual car. Now, here we are with Randy from Lights Out. That's why my lights are out, because it's Lights Out. Lights Out for you. That's a Megas reference. If you guys listen to that band, you probably don't. This is Randy. He's the creepy hotel manager. He runs the Destiny Hotel. That's his hotel. There's a lot of hotels in animation, but his is... Probably the best one. I gotta say, I'm actually impressed with this mold. Now, now the the issue here is that he's not the first hearse they ever did. He's not the first hearse. He's the worst hearse. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty dark. You can't see anything. So let me just brighten up the scene a little bit. Alright, here he is. He's actually not as bright of a red as the camera makes him out to be. He's still like a pretty bright red though he's kind of more the same kind of red on like okay he's got a lot of printing errors he's got like a lot of all right first things first i think he's like the similar i'd say the most similar red he is would be like i want to say he's comparable to like kevin shift right or something it's more like a sort of pinkish red sort of dark pink red like, the kind that you use on pencils. And then here's Dragon McQueen, for comparison's sake, because it's, like, the only other red car from 2023. Even though he was signed way earlier, but, you know. I guess I could have used Rumbler McQueen, but, yeah, I don't feel like that. This is good, because there's a lot of other colors. Here's his eyes. He's a very interesting stare. He has a very devious look to him. But his teeth are perfect. Now, that's actually inaccurate. He's supposed to have, like, a... Jagged. Well, I guess no. This is what it would look like, mouth closed, but, like... Come on, come on, come on, like... Look, I'm, like, hold on, let me pull out what he actually looks like. Here's his card render. So, I don't know... Wait, hold on. This is his render. And see, look at that. Look at how cool that looks. Then look at the actual car, and it's just, like... He looks so milk toast. Ah, oh, it's really disappointing. What's cool is that the top roof is metal, but oh my god, there's just so many printing errors. Yeah, so for those who don't know, Thailand prints their decals. They print a lot of stuff as opposed to actual hand painting. That's why a lot of their stuff looks weird and just uncanny. That's why most of the decals look like this. They don't use water slide decals like China used to do. They do like, they just print it on it comes off with medium results it's it was a making of the cars video but that's from vietnam so that's not even like worth the discussion uh the silver is actually silver that's a positive i can say because you know most cars don't get silver they get like gray like doc hudson or the king which i customized so i can't compare here his wheels are very similar to Patty's, actually. I have Patty on my desk because she's a desk assistant, so. The wheels are remarkably similar, I'd say. Not like one-to-one, -one, but they are a very close comparison, you know. 
Patty has the Spectro Flame paint job. Very nice. No, this isn't about Patty. I, re I think I reviewed Patty a while ago. Patty's awesome. <sighs> so, a long time ago, they made a car called Hot Rod Steve Hersel. No, they made regular Steve Hersel first, but then they made Hot Rod Steve Hersel, and I really love that one. That guy's so cool. And this is... This is just, like, the worst version of this mold. It's like... It's like... Descalating. De-escalating, you know? Yeah, I'm kind of stuffy. It's not focusing on the license plate, but yeah, it says Grim Grin, as in Grim Grinning Ghosts. That was Steve's license plate, so... Long fins, very nice, but you can see the printing strikes back. Because, you know, instead of just dousing him in red, I guess some parts just went un un unseen. This guy's like the definition of bad quality control. This is like, this guy's the most bargain bin release. I've said it to some people, but like, this guy's a very bargain bin. Like, I would not wish anyone pay more than $5 on this thing. Imagine going out, imagine only getting this guy online because he was super rare for a while. That's the only reason I really got this guy. Then I have a funny idea. Like, I think his original voice was like the Haunted Mansion guy. It's like, greetings. Check out time. Is it precisely 3.15? No, precisely at noon. I, I messed up his lines. Anyway, so here's what here's what his uh, inter, in, inner headlight looks like. Okay, no. There's, wait, is that a chip? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Is that a, is that a chip? There's like a chip on like this. Oh, come on. See, this is what I'm talking about. This guy is like the definition of like, I wouldn't only pay three thirty nine. Like, okay, Rumbler Mater wasn't the best die cast either. But like, I would still like pay $5 for him because he's a pretty hefty car. So I feel like there's get a lot more worth it. Whereas this guy is just like, this guy's such a butchered depiction of like such an iconic character from the show. The good news is he has a ghost form, so if they ever do that one, I'm pretty confident that will actually be the best version of Randy they can do, because, like, this guy sucks. Just sucks. I'm... <sighs> well, here's... Here's hoping that they do Ghost Randy or they re-release one of the other hearses. If I ever get if I ever get Steve Hersel, I'm gonna see if he can fit in this card. That'd be really cool. That's my goal. So yeah, viewer, you have been bewared because you have been scared. <laughs> that was a terrible jump scare.